In this chapter, we will learn how the LCD works, how to control it, and finally, we will interface it to our microcontroller. LCD character displays are used in so many devices. In fact, some of us use them daily. We find them in espresso machines, we find them in 3D printers, calculators, laser printers, microwaves, and so many other devices. The Hitachi HT4478 LCD controller has become the industrial standard for LCD displays. We shall be writing code for this very popular LCD in this tutorial. In the next section, we will take a look at the pin descriptions of the HD4478 LCD. More often than not, when we buy the LCD, they do not come with pins attached to them. So you must buy your own bag pins and solder them onto the LCD. This would make connection of wires very easy. You can get one row of 16 bag pins and then just solder them. Basically, the LCD has 16 pins. Out of these 16 pins, 8 pins are used for sending data. These 8 pins send 8-bit data and the other 8 are used in providing power to the LCD, selecting whether to send a command or data to LCD, changing the contrast of the LCD, turning on or off the backlight of the LCD, or writing or reading from the LCD. Let's take a more closer look at the pin descriptions. Firstly, we have pin 1. Pin 1 has the symbol VSS and this pin is the ground pin. Followed by pin 1 is the VDD pin 2 and this is the voltage supply for the LCD. After that we have the VE and this is the contrast control pin. Remember when you buy your LCD you might see the symbol VE or V0. Some LCDs come with the inscription V0 for VE. They are the same pins so do not worry if you see V0 there it's the contrast control pin. And then we have pin 4. Pin 4 is the RS, it's the register select. This pin here selects the, um, the register inside the LCD. The LCD has two internal registers. One of them is the LCD command register and the other one is the LCD data register. When we select the LCD command register, we are able to send commands such as clear the screen, shift the cursor right or left, or, you know move to the next line we are able to send commands like this with the internal command register and when we select the data register we are able to write the data that we want to be displayed on the LCD and we select either the data or the command register by manipulating the RS pin so followed by that we have the RW pin and this is known as the um, read write pin if we want to read from the LCD internal register we set the RW pin to high and when we want to write to, to it, we set it to low. Over here, pin 6 is the enable pin and the enable pin allows us to secure whatever data we write in the internal register. Basically, after we write a command or data to the internal registers in the LCD, we have to send a pulse through the enable pin and this is how the information is secured onto the register. We we'll see this in our examples, and we have um, we have D zero through D D seven, and these are the eight bit data buses. You know D zero D seven gives us eight, and these transfer eight bit data. However, we can also transfer four bit data with our LCD if we want to save more pins on our microcontroller. We can just use four lines, and with this one, we would require just D four through D seven. And then we have pin 15. Pin 15 has the symbol A. That's the anode of the backlight. When we turn it off, we save power. When we turn it on, it takes a bit more power. So we can turn it on and off by using the A and the K pin. The K is the ground for the backlight. In the next lesson, we will take a look at how to connect our LCD to the TVC launchpad.